boys. 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 Had, had to get you with the delayed boys. Alright. Um, my dear Hatchet Man. I think this is like a Yandere thing, except the Yandere is a boy. So it's a little different. And as you can see, the little dude who happens to just be standing right in another perfect spotlight for me to see from my window. Um, he has a hatchet. And he's a man. And what he's going to do with that hatchet is beyond me. But we're going to find out. Right now. What is your name? Obviously. What is your gender? I'm a boy. Your gender is male. Is that okay? Maybe. It was someone of an old habit of mine to walk. Every night I walked. Um, I think everybody has to walk every day, period. I, I, don't, I don't think there's really a choice. Due to the consistency of my routine, walking has helped me to put my mind at ease and numb out the fresh, cool nights. Besides, it's a good source to wear me down before bed. I don't have to rely on sleeping meds as much. It's almost like exercise helps you sleep. There's nothing fun about lying in bed, having my eyes glued to the ceiling, and dissociating. Um, generally when you sleep, aren't you supposed to have your eyes closed? I have become so familiar with the path. Staring at the same damaged sidewalk, hitting a couple of pebbles with the tips of my shoes. I would usually disappear into the woods for 20 minutes or so. I wouldn't call myself a nature lover per se. Hell, I could not imagine myself ever abandoning my phone. Feel that? But at night, the woods were all I wanted. I don't know why, but this has been the only place that gave me motivation to move, to get out of bed. College hasn't been too kind to me, and having just moved out on my own recently made me feel more isolated. Was there something wrong with me? Yes. No. Taking little walks to relax at night to sleep is normal. Yes. I never strayed from my path. It has practically become burned into my memory. And I was kind of proud of that. Alright. It was like my own little secret hideout where, if I could, one day just disappear from it all. However, today I feel bold. So I wandered off from my usual path, heading into the wild. Ooh, the wild. Oh, we finally got some art, boys. At first, the new environment felt nice. Without noticing, time kind of flew by and all my senses of direction withered away. Now I find myself confused and alone. Rut roll. In the woods. Fuck. Uh, yep, pretty much what I would have said. <laughs> Fuck. I couldn't recognize any noticeable landmarks to help my way out. Uh, how funny is this? I feel the final girl of a company slasher movie. I feel like the final girl of a campy slasher movie being tracked down by the killer. Yeah, but the final girl always survives, so you'll be alright. Fuck, I'm so stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Of course I was going to end up lost. Just go backwards. Just remember the exact turns and motions you made the first time and just do it all in reverse. Duh. Great. Not only am I lost, it's dark. No stars. Only the faint light of the moon not doing so much help. But I am losing sleep as we know it. Losing sleep? That's what you're worried about? You're worried about losing sleep? I can feel the soles of my feet starting to ache. Perhaps now might be a good time to collect myself before I have a full-blown meltdown in the middle of the woods. I think that's already too late. I lay my head low, feeling heavy, feeling a heavy weight on me. I took a few deep breaths. And, uh, I'm gonna cry. Too late. I couldn't help but feel warm. Frustrating tears run down my face. I let out a few soft sobs. <laughs> forcing myself to stay as quiet as possible. <laughs> That's how I cry. For God's sake, I really don't know where the hell I am. Snap! <gasps> the deafening silence was abrupted by what seemed like a, tw a twig? A me? What the hell made that sound? I jumped, startled, I took a few steps back, nearly losing my balance. Wherever that sound came from, I didn't see anything. Aw, oh, don't cry. Oh no, <laughs> bro, if a weird creepy dude comes up to you in the forest and says don't cry, <laughs> you're bone, dude. You're gonna lose your virginity in a, in, in a moment. A muffled voice came behind me. I quickly turned around to see a person. Oh, yeah, dude. Bro, if... He looks like he doesn't sleep, bro. He looks like he doesn't wash his hair. He looks like... He, 
<laughs> He's wearing fucking skinny jeans in a forest, dude. It's, you, you're dead. You're dead. You're just dead. I still could not make out his features well. His hair was wild, sticking out from the top of his head. He was holding something. A hatchet. I don't see the hatchet. Am I about to get murdered? Probably. My muscles tense up as I prepare to make a break for it. He seemed to notice my mannerisms. Hey. Oh god, he's got the crazy eyes. <laughs> Shit. Dude, when someone squints one eye at you and like his pupil dilates and the other one stays fine, you're... You, you, you're done for, dude. He's a crackhead or some shit. Like, bro, he's got the crack eyes. He held up his hands, letting the hatchet slip from his fingers onto the grass. His movements were slow and harmless. Take it easy. Who the hell are you? Some guy trying to help you out. That's it. Oh, no, you're not. Bro, the crackhead eyes. Crackhead eyes. Bro, run. That wasn't very comforting at all. Especially now that he reached over to the ground, retrieving his hatchet and casually swung it over his shoulder. Crackhead eyes. Why the hell did he sneak up on me like that? Why was he in the woods? Has he been following me? Where did you even come from? I live here actually, just a couple of miles. Got my own place and everything. Why do you have an axe? And also, I... I wasn't crying. It's a hatchet, first of all. Sure. Isn't a hatchet just a hand axe? <laughs> I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they're basically the same shit. Are you gonna murder me? What? No. I'm just getting some firewood. It's starting to get cold around here. I was still trying to come down from the adrenaline. I didn't even notice the chilly breeze. I started connecting the dots. The, are the dots the weird... Are, are, is connecting the dots what gave him those weird red lines on his face? Or the stitches on his arm? Is he a zombie? Oh, he might be a zombie. I started to connect the dots. He was probably telling the truth. I'm not at all experienced in, uh, forest living. Yes. Who am I to tell him that he doesn't know what he's talking about? So, why exactly did you come here? Well, you want to get out of here, don't you? I know my way around. Maybe I'm being too paranoid. He doesn't seem like he has any intention of hurting someone. See, Twig? Not everyone is out to get you. Yes, they are. Just follow him so he can take you back home. No, no, do not. No. Why? Bro, oh no, look at- In case you're still skeptical, you can go behind me. Oh god, he looks insane, bro, no. He's insane. He offered me his hand, of course. I hesitated, but I took it anyways. I could feel his fingerless gloves as he gave my hand a tight squeeze. He had some coarseness, but it didn't bother me. Yay. It took us- <laughs> It took us a while to get back. I must have really wandered, uh, way far off, way more far off than I expected. The trees were becoming less dense, and I could see his traits more and more. His eyes were particularly striking. Yeah, they're crackhead eyes, of course they're striking. They were both different. I shouldn't be staring, it seems kind of rude. In fact, the whole time, have I been acting rude? Probably, but anyone would, bro. Anyone would. Crackhead eyes. Hey, um, hmm? Sorry for being kind of reluctant back there. <laughs> he simply shrugged and smiled at me. Eh, I don't blame you. Yeah, he's got crackhead up. Bro, look at his teeth. Bro, go see a dentist. I mean... <laughs> so, I don't have great teeth myself. I shouldn't say shit. <laughs> I mean, if I was in your position, I would have probably freaked out if I saw some random guy with an axe approach me as well. Hatchet. Sure. That seemed to get a laugh out of him and let out some tension as well. It's been a while since I laughed. Oh, ho, ho. Nowadays, it's been feeling like I've been so isolated. I'm surprised I could achieve a conversation with him, let alone other people. With time, the dirt path merged into the edge of the sidewalk. Thank God we made it. What a relief. There you go. Oh my God, thanks. I didn't notice that I was still holding his hand. He gave me a small smile before I stuffed my hands into my pockets. Ooh. Oh, my hands were all sweaty and stuff. Other than having a breakdown in the woods, this entire experience wasn't that bad. See you around then. Oh god. He continued to place, stand in place while I turned my back from the woods, walking into my neighborhood once again. Stopping at the front door, I gave him one last wave. I couldn't really tell from the distance, but he seemed to wave back. Why did he know where I lived? Oh my god. I think I'm supposed to be a girl in this game based on the way this room is set up. 
Don't get me wrong, I have candles too, but the lights? Bro, the lights. The lights. <laughs> and the fact that there's just trash everywhere, that is also a good indicator. Well, actually, it's just an indicator that the, the main character is a slob. The main character is a slob in this game, by the way. I've just discovered that. I'm so tired. Exhausted, I immediately threw myself onto my bed. Finally able to get some rest. My eyes, they feel heavy. That stranger, he seemed... Nice. I didn't catch his name. I'll ask him tomorrow. Tomorrow? Wait, why are you gonna go see him again tomorrow? My body is aching. It feels like someone is on top of me. <laughs> oh god. How long did I sleep for? It seemed way too bright to be early in the morning. But you were up almost all night. I guess it must have been incredibly late when I slept. Last night. Memories started flooding back to the encounter I had with that stranger in the woods. I feel some sort of... Mix of comforting jitters sinking in. I had only moved in a few weeks ago, but now, knowing that he has been in the woods this entire time I've been exploring them was a little uneasy to process. I just would never go back. It's like a part of my privacy has been exposed. To be fair, I do feel a little silly thinking that. I didn't own the woods. If anything, I invaded his privacy by going off my usual path. Although, I haven't lived here for very long. I'm surprised I haven't heard about a man living in the forest. Then again, it's not like I'm really chatty with the neighbors to inform me about it. Was I thinking too much about this? Probably. Am I being insensitive? Yeah, jerk. Did I be feeling like I want to run into him again? No. I didn't ask for his name. Lay in bed and play on your phone. Like a Chad, let's go. Before doing anything, I wanted to catch up on what has been happening. I only see one message. It was an unknown number. Obviously, we're gonna read it. Hey. Do you know the chapter we're studying for English? This is Erica, by the way. Alright, it's one of my it's one of my friends, Erica. Oh. Erica. I remember her. She's part of my class. I could recall we exchanged phone numbers because our professor recommended it. She was the one who approached me. I didn't talk to her a lot. She seemed like the type, but would yeah. She didn't seem like the type, but would casually answer questions in class. One thing that stuck out, however, was that she had an incredible style. She had an eye for colors and patterns from what I could tell. Probably looks like shit. It was surprising that she wasn't taking a fashion course, but instead an interior design course. Wow, it's almost like having a knack for color and design is good for both fashion and house... house uh, Wow, it's almost like having a, a knack for color and design is good for uh, renovating houses as well as doing fashion. <laughs> hmm, it's almost like they go hand in hand. Erica was cool and seemed like she had her shit together, unlike me. Chapter 4, I believe. With a groan, I forced myself up from the comfort of my bed. To be honest, it seemed better to do something than to be slacking around in my sheets. This has been the first time I've been motivated to do anything in a while. It's kind of sad. Is that why your room's a mess? Because you're depressed? Ding. Thanks? Smiley face? Question mark? Question mark. Sorry. Can you tell that I don't text often? That made me smile. Just a tad. Yep, getting an answer from a girl on the phone is enough to make most dudes get a big goofy grin on their face. I'm not gonna lie, I've seen it happen. I have seen it happen many times. Seems like a stupid decision to go back to the forest just to thank some stranger. Dangerous, some might say. I mean, at least the sun was still out, so it wouldn't be as bad as staying in the woods at night, right? I stuffed my phone into my pockets and prepared to get ready. Walked back into the familiar path. Cool air was sharp as ever. I could feel it nipping at the tip of my nipples. I mean nose. I mean nipples. I mean nose. I tried to recall the path I took that initially got me lost yesterday. It didn't take long for me to fall back into a daze, feeling senselessly strayed. Alright, Twig. Just thank him and you can go on your merry way and get some shut-eye. Simple as that. Thoughts started to speculate in my head the more I paced around in a frantic circle. Why am I being stupid? I should be here, right? Why did I think this was a good idea? It would be nice to have someone to share the woods with. What if he hurts me, like he did? Like he did? What? Huh? He didn't hurt us. Oh, you're here again. Crackhead eyes. Oh, thank God. His eyes are still crackheadish, and he still looks like a fucking zombie. 
It might have been my desperation, but the sound of his voice took off a huge wave of relief. I turned around to eagerly. I took her. I, uh, I turned around too eagerly, seeing a smug expression on his face. It made me happy in a way. Ugh. You seem to get easily lost. What if I wasn't here to help you out? Doe eyes. Doe eyes? Is that like a deer in the headlight kind of thing? Look, I'd rather be a deer in the headlights than a crackhead, all right? His comment made me play with the hem of my sweater. I feel my cheeks starting to burn. I definitely think the, uh, I definitely think you're supposed to be a girl in this. It's low key. Hopefully he didn't notice. Well, I actually came to see you, dot dot dot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Why did I say it like that? I wanted to thank you, properly, I mean. I know I already did last night, but I might have come off as crass. And I still feel bad about the whole ordeal. I started to ramble at this point. I need to get this over with before I come off as hysterical. Too late. It's alright, he will, um, he'll appreciate the crackhead eye. The crackhead attitude, because his... He'll look at you with the crackhead eyes, and then he'll be like, hmm, fellow crackhead, and then you'll smoke crack together. Thank you, uh, Alan. Sorry? My name is Alan. Might as well get that out of the way. Oh, well, thanks for helping me out, Alan. John, Senpai, Uwu. I gave him- I gave his name a try. It came out softer than how I usually speak. I noticed him begin to smile, avoiding eye contact. It doesn't look like he's avoiding eye contact, he's staring into my soul. One of his eyes is staring into my soul, the other one is just like so dilated he probably just sees a black circle around his entire vision. <laughs> I was beginning to feel the silence between us starting to grow. No problem. Besides, it's really sweet of you to come back just to tell me that, big boy. Oh, he was flirting. You didn't mind it, but any kind of attention like that makes me feel weary. I promised myself I wouldn't get into a new relationship. Not until I feel ready. Oh god. Bro, <laughs> you're, you're kind of fast. Just say thank you and leave. I only replied back with a nervous laugh. We began to start a whole different conversation from there. At first it was just regular small talk. Most of it was about me, of course. I told him what I did for a living and what I was currently studying. He seemed to be a good listener. Or at least I think he was trying to be. It became evident that I it kind of ran out of things to talk about. It was only fair to ask about him, right? I don't want to make it seem like I only wanted to talk about myself. Not to sound rude or anything, but... I'm a little curious about your whole... thing here. Oh. I know I just moved in, and it's none of my business, but why do you live all the way out here? How come no one has ever told me about you? He seemed to give some thought to my questions. It simply gave me a shrug. I don't know. I always figured I lived better on my own, I guess? At least, that's what I think. Though, maybe he was a bit of a hermit? I totally didn't mean to judge him, but I was judging him. Low-key. I, I didn't mean to, but it was just sort of happening. In a way, I do kind of feel for him not wanting to interact with others. He was just a little more on the opposite end. Maybe he thinks I'm the weird one for wanting to interact with him. It's not every day someone just comes up back to thank you for helping them out in the woods. For a loner, he sure was easy to talk to. He was the one to first start a conversation better than I ever could. Hey. He snapped out of it, like he knew I was about to get lost in my thoughts. Wanna go check something out? I think you might like it. I blinked. The way he worded it sounded very vague. Wanna go back to my place and, uh, you know, see what it's like to get kidnapped? <laughs> As a joke, of course. <laughs> Unless. I don't know, it depends. Are you going to trick me and plan my murder? Sounds very fishy of you, Alan. I joked, and he seemed to get a good laugh out of it. It was not a very good joke, but it felt, it felt good to just laugh with someone. Maybe I needed this. I just needed to talk to somebody. So, boys, if you, go, if you need to talk to somebody, don't go out in the woods and talk to random strangers. Talk to people you know. Talk to Erica. Erica seemed nice. Just fucking text her. The fuck? <laughs> it's like, bro. <laughs> I mean... Now you gotta be curious. Might as well, right? Good. He seemed extremely pleased that I agreed. He took off, he took hold of my shoulder to guide me into the direction he planned to take me. We both took our time walking through the forest, having a whole casual conversation to make up for it. I felt like being reunited with an old friend and trying to catch up on your lives together. It was nice. I began to share some stuff to Alan that I haven't been able to talk about for a while. In return, he told me little things about himself. Rockhead! I 
took notice of him trying to crush crunchy leaves under his shoes. Sometimes getting bummed out if one didn't crunch. It was kind of cute. Blech. And noticed his skin looked slightly more sickly pale. Tiny, but still noticeable scratches across his cheeks. You mean the crackhead cuts? The zombie you mean the zombie slashes and the crackhead eyes? And his eyes bore dark circles. It almost looked like he was about to collapse, but he looked so gentle. He seemed to have noticed that I was looking at him. Oh no, I got caught. I ducked my head, scratching the side of my cheek. Before I could come up with an excuse that I totally wasn't staring at him, Alan pushed my head down, getting in getting onto my knees rather painfully. Oh god! Bro, this is about to go this is about to go like some deliverance backwoods ass shit, dude. What the <laughs> Shh Alan crouched down beside me, carefully moving close to what seemed like a small stream with wildflowers and vegetation, almost like a mini meadow covering the entire land. Oh, he wanted me to look at the deer. I gotcha. Then I see it. Deer. It was happily nibbling on some grass, and on occasion would twitch its cute little fluffy tail. Both me and Alan didn't move a muscle, so as not to scare the cute creature, but we still enjoyed the view. Too cute, ain't he? Ooh woo. I always come here to see if he's around. That was adorable. Who knew Alan had such a sensitive soul? Oh my god. <laughs> that is so cringe. <laughs> At least that's what I thought. It may not come as a surprise to you, but my favorite animals are deer. Deers. Have you called me doe eyes before? Do I remind you of a deer, Alan? Alan stayed quiet, a little taken aback by my question. However, another sound stopped them from responding. He got lucky. Huh? They're new. Another deer emerged from the woods, joining in. I couldn't deny that it was rather an adorable sight to see. Maybe it's more than one reason. What was that? It was barely a whisper. I could o I could only manage to hear a few words from him. Nothing. Anyways, wanna grab a bite to eat? I know there's a store not that far from here. Why not? I'm getting a bit peckish. Oh my god, who talks like that? A bit peckish. <laughs> Quickly got onto his feet again, not bothering to dust off his clothes. He still had the decency to hold out his hand for me to get up. Alright. We probably won't take long if we get going now. Much like before, he kept holding my hand through the entire walk back to civilization. I stopped feeling so foreign, as if I knew Alan and trusted him enough to get, hold his hands. Is this gonna get to like some sussy part yet? I don't know why he made me feel so safe. I feel... melodramatic thinking about it. Everything seemed to get blurry and I could feel my stomach doing flips. I'm hungies. It was then that the obnoxiously bright lights of the store pulled me out of the trance. There were a couple of people in the small store, but most of them adults collecting some boxes of beer. Alan started scanning around as if to memorize where everything was. His attention was immediately caught by the ice aisle. His smile brightened like a child. Pick anything you want. It's on me. How do you have money, Forrest man? How generous of him. I looked around and decided to get... Hey, I'm really hungry. Let's just fucking eat a bunch of ice cream. That's a smart idea. I'm getting ice cream. Let's load up on it. I reached into the cold freezer, grabbing myself whatever seemed most appealing. Alan flashed me a smile. He seemed giddy that we got the same thing. Oh god. Got everything? Yeah, let's go. Let's buy some ice cream, dude. Dude, the, the coffee thing, I know those are like heat like lines coming up off of it, but it just looks like poo. It looks like smelly poo. We left the store, basking in our glorious streets. Alan proceeded to scarf his ice cream down. You're gonna choke yourself eating like that. He's like, we're praying for later, big boy. And that's how I <laughs> want to go. Here lies Alan, death by ice cream. He dramatically put his hands on his heart and lowered his head all gloomy. I snorted and playfully pushed him. But I could barely manage to make him lose his footing. <laughs> God. <laughs> Please just get to the killing me part. Cool thing you died from lactose then. I mean, I kinda am lactose intolerant. Oh god, death by smelly farts at that point. And you took that risk? Bro, you make it sound like it's life and death. Lactose intolerance is not life and death. I like to live on the edge. Oh god, crackhead. I roll my eyes. No, seriously, I stole five chocolate bars while nobody was looking. What? You shoplifted? He gave me a proud smirk, unzipping his coat, showing me his loot. I was dumbfounded. I couldn't fucking believe it. This man just robbed a store. I didn't even notice him. 
You must have been real sneaky or quick. You should see the look on your face right now. He reached in, grabbing from his stash. You can't just... That isn't... I said it was on me, right? They aren't gonna just waste their time over some shit like stolen candy. Besides... His fingers fidgeted with the wrapper, prying it open and taking a bite before nudging it towards me. Stolen stuff tastes better. Wow. What an absolute degenerate, dude. I'm appalled. But I'm still gonna eat it. Hesitantly, I reached over and took a th the tiniest bite. I couldn't explain it, but he was right. It was like the forbidden candy bar. <laughs> oh my god. I still feel kind of bad about... I still, feel, yeah, I still feel kind of bad that he went out of his way to steal stuff from me, though. No, you don't get any of mine. You stole. You can eat your stolen goods. I'll eat my probably paid for not goods. Alright, bitch. Might be a bad idea. He only smiled at me before walking away and continued to eat his forbidden chocolate bar. Hey! I followed him soon after. We walked all the way back to my house, eating the stolen candy. I got some sort of cheap thrill knowing that we could have potentially gotten caught and Alan shared that feeling as well. Being with him was thrilling. I still haven't cleaned my room. I didn't notice how late it has gotten since I reached the comfort of my bed. I feel tired, sure, but I also feel satisfied? At ease? Whatever I felt, I knew I was going to see him again tomorrow. It went to the main menu. I think that is the... I think that means I got an ending. Okay. I went ahead and I did some backtracking. I checked all the other options and... Um, it didn't make any dialogue differences. Uh, the other options that I would have chosen would have literally just skipped some extra text that we had already seen. I, I ended up just picking all the extra text options right away. Um, any other small differences that there might have been was only a couple of words, so it uh, isn't really worth exploring. It's not really worth exploring here. I guess it didn't have an actual ending ending, which is kind of weird. Like, it did, but it didn't. And it uh, wasn't as... Uh, it wasn't as yandere as I thought it was going to be, I guess, from what the title and the screenshots and stuff might have suggested. It was just a straight, like, weird romance story, which is fine, I, I guess. It just wasn't what I was expecting. Um, I, what I would like to have seen was a route where you don't go back into the forest and you just focus on that Erica person, because that would have seemed nice. Because uh, it, this Erica person was mentioned, but then nothing ever happened with it, so... I don't really know what to make of that. Boys. Don't go flirting with people in the forest, man. That's just such a bad idea, boys. Just... <laughs> Bro, like it might have worked out in this story, but it, th it doesn't actually work out that way. 90, like, 99% of the time, you're just gonna end up dead. You're just gonna die. He, he just hatched the shit out of you. Like, we didn't even see where he lived. Like, he just brought us back to his, our house when he said, do you, like, he literally said, I live up the road from here, and then he just brought us back to our own house. How does he know where we live? That's weird. I don't know. I got bad vibes from the dude, but it ended up fine, I guess. Don't judge a book by its cover or some shit, as they say. Boys. Boys. Don't steal. Don't trust random strangers in the forest. But most of all, stay virgin, boys. You know what it is.